This is the Raspberry Pi. It is a $35 computer and it is quite cool. So today we are going to install SSH onto it so we can control it remotely. And it's the size of an iPhone. That is quite cool. So to get started we're going to plug in the Ethernet cable and then we're going to plug in the keyboard. You won't need to have the keyboard plugged in after us because we can just use your normal computer. So then you're going to plug in your video cable. I'm not going to use HDMI for this tutorial, but then you can just use your SD card image that you have at the moment, or you could make a fresh one. It doesn't really matter. And then what you're gonna do is just turn it on by plugging in the power cable. So once it turns on, you're going to get the Raspberry Pi Rasp config if it's a clean install. For now we're just going to quit this so we can do all the updates. So we're going to get started by putting in sudo i and this is going to let us run as an admin on the system. So once that's done we're going to run the updates by putting in apt-get update and this will download all the updates from the Raspberry Pi website so it should be all up to date. Okay, now it's done. What you want to do is make sure that it upgrades by putting in apt get upgrade. This could take a while, but I've sped it up. Now it's done, we're just going to reboot the Pi by putting in reboot. Once it's rebooted, we're going to go back into sudo by putting in sudo i. And then we're just going to put in, we're just going to put in raspberry config. And that's going to up, open up the config screen that we had before. It's just been updated. So I'm going to expand the file system so the Pi can use the whole SD card. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to turn on SSH. So we're going to go onto advanced options, SSH, and we're going to click enable, or we're going to choose enable. And once you're done with that, just go back to the main menu, click on finish, and then type in reboot. By default, the username will be Pi, and the password will be Raspberry. It doesn't show up on the screen when you type it in, but you do enter it. Now you will want to note down the IP address of the Pi, but if you don't want to do that, I'm going to show you how you can easily connect to it without knowing the IP. So make sure that you go into sudo again, and then you want to put apt-get install, and then ava hi dash daemon and that will install something that will let you connect to your Raspberry Pi by putting in raspberrypi.local just type in Y for when it asks you to enter the answer for additional disk space use and it will just download it now now that's done you can unplug your keyboard and monitor and the Pi can just run off power and Ethernet Alrighty, when you're at Google you want to put in putty ssh and then you want to click on the link that I have clicked on. Then you want to go into download at the top of the page and then you want to get the exe version. Then once it's downloaded you can just open it up and I already have my Pi set up but I'm still going to do it manually anyway. I'm going to put in raspberry pi dot local. It's going to ask me to connect. And then we can just log on with the same username and password as before. And use your pi as you usually would. So that's how to use SSH with the pi. Thanks for watching. 
Hope it helped and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.